The majority of canine injuries seen downrange are primarily first addressed with the canine handler. And then the next person that typically sees any kind of injured canine is a human health care provider. So it takes the dog to be evacuated out of there in order for them to see veterinary personnel sometimes. And so human health care providers need to know a little bit about canine anatomy, canine medical care in order to provide for our service members. So training wise, I teach TCCC, so canine tactical combat casualty care training to medical professionals. So we practice CPR, we practice intubation, we practice placing IV catheters to bolus fluids. And then I focus on specific anatomy differences. 90% of the things they know can be applied to canines. However, anatomy, there's a few nuances and I try to focus on those. So military working dogs are a huge asset to us. They're able to find things that our equipment or our human personnel are unable to. And we've put a lot of training into them and their handler and the dog, they're a team and they stick together. And so we need to protect them to both save the dog's life and also save those around them.